guys i think we're live so we recently had a request to read about some animals now look what have it that i stumbled across this fabulous book in this house we do enjoy learning about animals now here i am on page 2425 the first animal to talk about is a crustacean. This is the peacock mantis shrimp. This is the peacock mantis shrimp. Let's have a little look at what it says. So pound for pound, nothing in nature packs a punch quite like that of a peacock mantis shrimp using special fist-like appendages it delivers its strategic blows at more than 50 miles per hour with an explosive force equivalent to that of a bullet from a firing gun now these powerful punches are often more than enough to shatter the protective armour of its shellfish prey when not hunting, the peacock mantis shrimp spends much of its time hiding in a U-shaped hole dug into the sand beneath the coral reef. Now it says here the size of a peacock mantis shrimp is up to 7 inches long. Diet is mollusks and crustaceans. It is found in coral reefs across many tropical parts of the Indo-Pacific Ocean. So there is the peacock mantis shrimp there. Okay, let's explore further. And see what else we have. It's going to be a random selection let's have a little look ah yes we are on to snakes now we have here the king cobra there is the king cobra there let's have a little read let's see what it says now the king cobra is a venomous snake that can rear upward and widen its face producing a threatening hood that scares off predators it is the largest cobra species often reaching 13 feet in length it is the longest venomous snake in the world rather than hunting mammals it uses its venom to immobilize other snakes which it swallows whole though they can bite in self-defense most king cobras are naturally quite gentle and retiring creatures diet consists of mostly snakes but also small lizards mammals it is found in dense forests across india and southeast asia so that's the king cobra okay we are on to frogs next we have the dying dart frog here there is the dying dart frog and this frog is one of the largest of the poison arrow frogs when eaten by a predator it produces a vicious cocktail of poisonous chemicals that drip from the skin the poison causes muscle cramps in its victims and so a predator will quickly 
spit the frog out and vow never to eat such a colourful frog again. Diet, insects and other small invertebrates found in many rainforests throughout South America. Let's see what I have lurking next. Okay, we have the common clownfish here. So the common clownfish uses thick slime protect itself from the stinging tentacles of sea enemas. In return for offering the clownfish protection from predators, the sea enanum uses, a, uses the clownfish as a form of cleaning service to keep it healthy. So we have a sort of symbiosis there. Like many other reef fish, the common clownfish is not strictly male or female, but can be both. If a male clownfish becomes the largest in the group, it finds itself turning into a dominant egg-laying female, which comes to rule her enamel colony. They are up to 4.5 inches long. The diet consists of plankton and algae found in coral reefs in parts of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Okay, it looks as though we are onto the Pacific Bluefin Tuna. That's the Pacific Bluefin Tuna there. And it says, cold water can make some fish sluggish, but the Pacific bluefin tuna has a trick up its sleeve. By recycling the heat generated by its muscles, it can keep its body warmer than the surrounding waters. This primitive version of warm bloodedness can make it a more active predator than most other fish. Perhaps more than any other, the Pacific bluefin tuna has a fierce pace that allows it to dash after small fish and squid. In 10 second sprints, it can regularly reach speeds of more than 30 miles per hour. Size up to 10 feet long. Diet consists of squid and fish, including herring and mackerel. It is found throughout the North Pacific. Very interesting. Okay, of the red bellied piranha there. Going to skip along to this fascinating creature here. We have the giant oceanic manta ray. Have a look at the manta ray here. Now, the giant oceanic manta ray is the largest ray in the world. Its enormous wings and streamlined shape allow it to cruise through the ocean almost effortlessly as it journeys towards the finest feeding grounds. When it finds an area rich in swimming shrimp, plank planktonic crabs and krill, this huge ray herds these tiny prey into dense clouds that it then rushes towards 
with its mouth wide open as well as filter feeding like this scientists have recently discovered that the giant alcyonic manta ray can also hunt and devour deep sea fish now here is an interesting fact size wise across 23 feet diet shrimp plankton and small fish and it is found in tropical and temperate waters across the world okay let's have a little look at what we have next for you here we have one of the if not fastest animal in the world any ideas it is a bird it is the peregrine falcon it's the peregrine falcon there now let's learn a little bit about this creature so no other creature on earth can defy gravity Quite like the peregrine falcon, the fastest creature on the planet, this agile bird of prey regularly hits speeds up to 240 miles per hour as it dives downward on unwary birds. The resulting impact is hidden within a flurry of feathers. Death is almost instantaneous. To cope with the wind generated as it flies down, the peregrine falcon has special bone filled nostrils that guide air over rather than into its lungs. A third pair of eyelids has become a useful set of flying goggles. In recent times the Peregrine Falcon has become a familiar resident of many towns and cities. Urban buildings, especially churches and skyscrapers, resemble the clifftop habitats where they normally nest. And peregrines have become an important predator of urban pigeons and doves. Size 13.5 to 21 inches long diet mostly medium-sized birds including songbirds pigeons and doves found in almost every habitat on earth except high mountains rainforests and polar regions fascinating Let's learn about this mammal. It comes under the category of diverse carnivores. We have the spotted hyena. The spotted hyena there. So it says the spotted hyena can work as part of a pack to chase animals over long distances by relay running. With other group members, it can keep up speeds of over 37 miles per hour over many miles. This is enough to exhaust even the healthiest wildebeest. But the spotted hyena is more than just a killer. It has powerful stomach acids, which mean it can occasionally scavenge rotting animals without becoming poisoned. In fact, it regularly digests bones and the 
tough skin of animal heights. Size 3 to 4.5 feet long from nose to tail. Diet large mammals including wildebeest, gazelle and buffalo found throughout the sub-Saharan Africa. Let's see what we have next. Oh yes, we have this fascinating turtle here. Quite a vicious turtle. This is the alligator snapping turtle. And it says the alligator snapping turtle has a bite so strong it can split a broom handle and it has an appetite to match. The list of prey that it has been known to eat include fish, amphibians, snakes, crayfish, worms, water birds, raccoons and even armadillos. It also has a secret weapon that it sometimes uses to hunt. It has a tongue that looks like a worm, which it dangles out of its mouth like a fishing lure. Size. Shell is up to 2.5 feet long. Found in fresh waters of the southeastern USA. Okay, I think we have an appropriate creature here for the channel. We are on to birds. We have a mallard there. We have the mallard. And it says this quack quack. Only joking. With a taste for insects, snails, pond plants and the occasional human handout, the mallard has adapted to a range of habitats, including lakes, ponds and ditches. It thrives in climates across much of the world, from Arctic tundra to tropical islands. As with many birds, the male and female mallard look very different from one another. The female is highly camouflaged to remain hidden while sitting on her eggs, whereas the male shows off his strength with reflective green plumage and a bright yellow beak. Size 20 to 26 inches long, diet, snails and water-living invertebrates and plants found in fresh waters all over the world. We have time for one or two more creatures for you. Oh yes. Of one of nature's most notorious predators here. We have the orca. orca, sometimes called the killer whale, is a spectacular apex predator. It hunts prey in well-coordinated attacks that often span many miles. So it is no wonder that some people call it the wolf of the oceans. Despite its other name, the orca is a dolphin, not a whale. And like other dolphins, it uses echolocation to find food. It fires intense bursts of speed at potential prey, listening out for reflected sounds, which are picked up by the brain through a lower jaw that works a bit like an ear. Like apes, the auger has a complex and very rich 
social life. Size 16 to 26 feet long from nose to tail. Diet marine mammals, sea turtles, fish, squid, and seabirds. It is found across all of the world's oceans. It's fascinating. Excuse me. Okay, I'm going to bring you one more creature and then we'll call it tonight. Okay, we have another of my favourites here. And I'm sure you've seen the males battle it out on nature programmes. We have the southern elephant seal. It's the southern elephant seal there. And it says, in elephant seal society, the beach master is king. This giant male protects lots of females and is regularly challenged for its place by other males who provoke him to energy sapping wrestling bouts. A long bulbous nose gives the beach master an extra loud roar while searching for food, this seal regularly dives down to extreme depths. Scientists have clocked this species diving to 7,000 feet. This makes it one of the world's deepest diving mammals and is four times deeper than the deepest diving penguin. Size 8.5 to 10 feet long, females, males 14 to 19 feet long. Diet is squid and fish. It is found throughout sub-Antarctic waters. Okay, with, with that said, I am going to bring you one more. It's getting quite addictive making these lives. Yes, another deadly predator here. We have the red lionfish. The red lionfish has lots of spiky fins on top of its body, which give it a mane of venomous barbs. When threatened, it points its head down to shove off these fins, scaring away potential predators. The red lionfish is such an efficient hunter of fish, it has caused whole ecosystems to change when accidentally released by humans into new areas of the ocean. To stop this species from spreading too quickly, people have been encouraged to eat it as a tasty alternative to more endangered fish species. Size up to 18 inches long. Diet, smaller fish. Found in native to Indo-Pacific regions but increasingly found along the western coast of the Atlantic Ocean. So that's all your creatures for tonight guys. To thank the creators of this fabulous book sure I will see you again in the week for more ASMR. Sleep well and bye for now.